Woodman here. I wanted to talk to you today about Shango and the Oyo Empire. The Oyo Empire was a powerful and influential West African kingdom located in what is now southwestern Nigeria. It flourished from the 14th century until the late 19th century when it was eventually weakened by internal strife and external pressures. The empire was part of the larger Yoruba cultural region and was known for its sophisticated political and social organization, as well as its military prowess. Let's talk about the origins and expansion. At the founding, the Oyo Empire was founded by the Yoruba people who established the city of Oyo as its capital. The empire's origins are somewhat obscure, but it is believed to have been founded in the 14th century. In terms of expansion, the empire itself would expand its territory through military conquests and strategic alliances, reaching its zenith in the 17th and 18th centuries. It controlled a significant portion of the Yoruba lands and extended its influence over neighboring regions as its borders continued to expand outwards. Let's talk about the political structure. Oyo Messi. The empire was governed by a sophisticated system of checks and balances involving the Oyo Messi, a council of senior chiefs who advised the king and who held significant power. Alafin. The Alafin was the supreme ruler of the empire wielding both political and religious authority. The Alafin was supported by a complex hierarchy of officials and councils. What about the economy and the culture of the Oyo Empire? In terms of economy, the Oyo Empire was based on what would be mainly agrarian or agriculture, trade, as well as tribute. The empire was a major trading hub with routes connecting it to West African states and the trans-Saharan trade networks. In terms of culture, the Oyo Empire was known for its rich cultural heritage, including art, music, and oral traditions. It also had a strong religious system with worship centered around various deities, uh, ones that would later come to be known as Oran Mila and Sango. How about the decline of the Oyo Empire? Well, as mentioned before, there was quite a bit of internal strife which weakened it considerably. The empire faced internal conflicts, including disputes over succession and governance issues, which weakened its stability. In terms of external pressures, by the 19th century, the Oyo Empire was also under pressure from many external forces, including the Fulani Jihadists, as well as British colonial expansion, which contributed to its eventual decline. As they always say, the sun never sets on the British Empire. So now let's talk about Shango, one of the rulers of the Oyo Empire and who is quite famous. Shango, also known as Sango or Shango the Great, is a legendary figure in Yoruba history and mythology. He's often celebrated as one of the most powerful and revered rulers to have ever commanded the Oyo Empire. Let's talk about his historical as well as mythological significance. As a historical ruler, Shango is traditionally considered one of the greatest kings of the Oyo Empire. His reign is associated with a period of military expansion and consolidation of power. As a mythological figure in Yoruba mythology, Shango is revered uh, as an Orisha of thunder and lightning. He is obviously among the Orishas, which was a powerful pantheon, and they are given a lot of uh, reverence and worship in the Yoruba religion. Shango is often depicted as a powerful and charismatic figure with control over the spheres of thunder and fire. Let's talk more about his attributes as well as his worship. 
In terms of attributes, Shango is associated with strength, leadership, and justice. He is often depicted holding a double-headed axe, symbolizing his ability to control the elements and enforce justice. Kind of is a little reminiscent of, of Thor holding Stormbringer the axe, you know, after he doesn't have mold near anymore, right? In terms of worship, he uh, is worshipped in various ceremonies and festivals, and he's honored with offerings and rituals designed to invoke his protection as well as his favor. His worship extends beyond the Yoruba people to other African diasporic communities, including those in the Americas. Due to the transatlantic slave trade, this allowed for quite a bit of traveling of these ideas to spread across the world, albeit in a very negative uh, connotation. In terms of legacy, there is some cultural impact. Shango's legacy is significant in both historical and cultural contexts. As a ruler, he is remembered for his contributions to the Oyo Empire's strength and organization. As an Orisha, his influence continues to be felt in religious practices as well as cultural expressions among the Yoruba and the wider African diaspora. In summary, the Oyo Empire was a major West African kingdom known for its political sophistication, its economic strength, and its cultural richness. Shango, a legendary ruler and Orisha, holds a prominent place in Yoruba history as well as mythology, symbolizing power, justice, and the forces of nature. I hope you enjoyed this message. If you're new here, welcome aboard. This is a safe space. You're very welcome. If you're a Turner, thank you for supporting this channel. You're what makes this channel keep going. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And we close out with a prayer. May the Most High God watch over you, keep you, your loved ones, your family safe and sound, abundant, healthy, and wealthy. And that you have the armor of God to protect you and that you are defended against all things that are trying to attack you. On that note, I love you, I love you, I love you. God bless. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.